decided that <laughs> I am going to bring back the weekly vlogs because I have no free time, kind of, basically, no free time. Or like when I have a day off, I don't want to feel the pressure that I have to vlog the whole day to be able to have a vlog. Does that make sense? So, and also I really enjoyed the weekly vlogs. They're slightly longer, they're a bit more interesting, they're a bit more mix of like what's going on and things like that. So, I'm going to bring back the weekly vlogs instead of doing random little daily vlogs. Currently in my bedroom. This is my bedroom. I've just been doing a deep clean of the house today, but Ben and some of his friends have been doing the drive. Hold up, hold up. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So um, where that gravel is, there was a massive, very, very overgrown flower bed. Uh, so this morning I cut down all of the dead plants. There was like, well, I say dead plants. There was like rose bushes and everything in it as well. Him and uh, two of his friends have been digging the rest of it up, getting rid of the deep roots that um, Ben and I haven't been able to get up, laying on the gravel, laying turf, blah, blah, blah. Because, I mean, I don't know anything about it, but Ben's got a hot rod car that needs to be kept on the drive. So yeah, we've done that. But actually, I reckon you could fit all three of our cars on there when the drive is done properly so my car his daily car and and the hot rod i reckon will all fit on the drive i mean that would save a lot because it means that no one would be parked on the road which would be ideal would it not yes it would i do feel like i really need to get my get the um adapter thing for my canon again because the phone for some reason i find really achy to hold in my hand <laughs> but the camera obviously i've got like my little tripod thing that i used to use so i've got that but yeah, I look like this because I literally got up, went outside to dig up dead plants and loads of plants. And then one of my neighbours started to pull up and, you know, and you're just like, I'm not in the mood for a conversation. And I know that you're going to try and talk to me. So I like legged it inside. Oh my God, my arm is killing me. Legged it inside so that uh, I didn't have to have a conversation with her on a Sunday morning. Yeah, I couldn't bother with that. So I ran in and then Ben obviously finished it. My ramble with that is done. I also really want to show you this candle. This candle here. Uh, it's by a company called Fine Nest Candles and I think my best friend has actually used them before but I discovered them at Bedford Flea Market and I'm obsessed with this candle. It smells amazing. Um, if you know me or you've known, watched the vlogs or anything for a while, you'll know that Neon Happiness is one of my favourite, 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 favourite candles ever in the whole entire world. If you get the picture of that. Uh, <laughs> um, but they're really expensive. But this candle kind of has the same sort of effect on me, like the fragrance really relaxes me. I really hope that they still do this candle, Lost in Quebec, so that I can bulk buy it. Because this is way cheaper than my neon candle, which I keep over here. It has completely burnt out. Well, it looks like it, ha looks like it hasn't, but it has. But I don't have the heart to get rid of it yet. So, I haven't. <laughs> Let's say hi to Delilah. Say hello. Ah, are you sleepy? She's like, Mum, leave me alone. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh. I think we have a ghost in here, don't we? Mm. <laughs> mm. Let's add a uh, new guttering to the list of things that this house needs. This rain is so loud. It's actually got quieter. Listen. Definitely one of my favourite sounds ever. Does anybody else find rain really relaxing? Loved. <laughs> Why is video on an iPhone like so freaking close? <laughs>
I've been really bad at this whole weekly vlogging thing. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to get back into the routine, but it is Friday today and I have had a day of housework, really. Um, done two loads of washing, one I need to hang up, one is already hang on, hang, hung up. Deep clean the bedroom, deep clean the bathroom. I'm going to whiz the hoover around and I'm done. It's literally taken me all day, but I kind of, I like enjoy it but I also hate it at the same time like I hate that I have to do it but then while I'm doing it I enjoy it like I just put something on Netflix hello um I've put on Virgin River because I feel like everyone is watching it except me but I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it so I've, I'm on the second episode but because I'm flittering about I don't really think I'm concentrating on it anyway the meaning of me turning on this camera is because Ben's dad has started the office room if you don't know you probably do we're renovating this house completely you can kind of see some patches out there on the landing um i'll do a quick walk through house tour for you guys now because i've been saying i'm going to do a house tour video for ages but i feel like i want to do a house tour when the whole thing is done or like sections of it is done so if i just do a quick whiz round for you guys today then yeah it'll be a bit more interesting and also because i've been tidying the house it's a bit nicer to look at today so we'll do that now so as much as i've said that i've done like tidied the house this camera makes my skin look awful anyway it still looks like a absolute dump because obviously we're renovating so even when you spend hours tidying it still looks like you've done nothing okay so we'll start with the front we have a little porchway coming in i'm not going outside because it's raining but it's like a glass porchway nice and simple we've already changed this floor it was carpet i had to really think about that then it was awful carpet but we lifted the carpet and found asbestos tiles so we've had to have like a special thing put underneath this um and then this put down over the top so that was a fun uh discovery because it's underneath all of this too uh which i'll explain in a sec but that's the porchway and then the whole of downstairs is completely open plan. So I'll give you a quick overview of what we have here. So we've actually got this backwards. So that bit over there is normally the dining room and this bit is the living room. However, in our old house, the living room was so tiny and cozy and we really, really liked that. So we've kept the, di the living room over in the smaller section and then made this bit the dining room. So I'll give you a little whiz round so far. So you've got a nice big window outside. This chair was from a charity shop. It's um, an antique. And then we've got, these are old school lockers that we've made into a home bar. I'll give you a, sh a, a like close up of that. Oh, a telephone. That is a traffic light. Um, it's very bright red. <laughs> so it doesn't ever go on. So yeah, that's our home bar. This mirror um, is from my a very old job where they moved, hello, they moved shops and they were gonna get rid of furniture and I just adore this mirror. So I've um, acquired it and I'm gonna paint it and it's gonna go in our spare room eventually. This is our dining table. The chairs are all antique as well. We're actually gonna change those to all matching ones because we've decided that it's kind of annoying us that they don't match. But Ben made the table. He actually got a really old table from Facebook Marketplace and then took the legs off, um, sanded it all down, varnished it, waxed it, and then we bought these legs online. And then his dad helped us just add like extra wood on the bottom so it sits at the right level. Um, but that's one big tip that I can give you from things that we've learned is that Facebook Marketplace needs to be the first place you look for anything if you're on a budget, because we've got so much stuff from Facebook Marketplace or secondhand. So for example, pretty much everything you can see in this picture right now is secondhand, apart from this light, which is Ikea and those shelves, but we found those on a company on Facebook Marketplace, but I'll show you those closer in a sec. This is we, this was over there, but we have, we treated ourselves to a cabinet that we'd been looking for or looking at for ages from Ikea. So it's been replaced with this and it's got our little record player station on there. But these are slidey doors. So I've just got books and vinyls on this side. And then that side is um, some of Ben's taxidermy and candles and cameras on top. 
Delilah has her own little drawer. Please excuse this, I need to dust the surfaces. This is Delilah's little drawer. Although it doesn't look like it, but all of her stuff is in there, I promise. So it's just nice to be able to organise stuff. As much as this looks really nice, it's not really, wasn't really practical for what we were using it for. But we've got the vinyl player, the Marshall lamp, lamp, Marshall amp there, my plants. This is a really old music box, actually. Let me show you. I won't put it on because I don't know how to, and Ben will kill me if I break it. But I'll show you inside. How cool is this? Ben's so good at finding like treasures like that. <laughs> this picture makes me laugh though, it's really cute. Anyway, I think this is partly like one of my favorite spots in the house at the minute. I absolutely love this, I'm obsessed. And then just got little centerpieces. These are old beer bottles that we've just cleaned up and put big, light, big lights in, big candles in. These are fake flowers from B&M just because um, you can't always have real flowers in the house, but I love having flowers and they kind of think they look quite good to be honest quite proud anyway and then we move over to here and you've got we put our guitars on there this is luna's little bit i think she's in there actually if you're gonna be able to see her though oh yeah there she is cute oh um and then you've got the staircase there which i will show you a bit more in a bit and then you've got our little living room section so i'll show you here first these shelves um, were from a company on Facebook. I don't think they're making them anymore. If they are, I will find them and eventually put them in the description for you. And then these uh, drawers are from um, an antique dealer. I will link her Instagram down below. She's a really sweet lady. A bit more taxidermy, Ben's. Um, this plant was tiny when I was given it, like about a year ago, and it's now huge. We did a little bit of swatch. We were thinking of going a navy blue, but we've actually changed our minds now. The rug is from a car boot sale. It was £6. I forgot to say, this rug is... It's an Ikea rug, but we got it on Facebook Marketplace for like half the price. The sofa and the chair are from TK Maxx. Again, another good tip, TK Maxx. Um, this is actually a like poof thing. Again, we a company we found on Facebook and it opens up and in, we have all like our snacks and stuff in there. So like crisps and things are in there. But I really don't like the blue colour. We got blue because we were thinking blue and now we've changed our minds. So we have slight regret with that. But it is what it is. Basket that's got blankets in it. All of our little model Harry Potter things lockdown uh, tasks i'm sure we all have things like that in the house right now <laughs> um this is eventually going up on the landing i'll show you where this big clock this is our garden <laughs> it's an absolute state at the moment but compared to what it was like when we first moved in it's beautiful <laughs> yeah another little swoop around so this is the view from the living room here we are and then we've got the kitchen, which literally is a, a state, really. Um, so the plan down here, I'll just give you an overview of the kitchen, there's not really much to say about it. But the plan down here is to completely knock this out and along there and extend out, kind of how our neighbour has, if you can see. Um, and we'll have a big open plan kitchen, diner, living room section down here. So we're not really doing anything else down here, to be honest, because it's a bit pointless because we're going to be knocking a whole wall out. So why would we make it cute? Why would we make it look nice when the plan is literally just to destroy it all anyway? So let's go upstairs. Do you like my uh, green carpet? It's stunning, isn't it? It's gross. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've come up to the landing. We've got like one of those half landing ones. You've got a nice window here and then you've got the lantern itself i don't know how to show you this we've just recently had the banisters done they were the traditional like 1960s palette um like palette banisters that makes sense and then we're getting acorns for here i didn't quite realize how much a banister would change how something looks but yeah we've got really high ceilings here which is so cool this is going to be full of artwork let me go up here all of this 
who's gonna fill all of these walls with art. Ah, <laughs> falling over everything with artwork. So I'm hoping this area is actually gonna be so impressive when it's done. That is where the massive clock is gonna go. So that's exciting. Okay, so then we have, I don't know where to start. Let's just start here. This is the bathroom. This was one of the rooms that we weren't gonna do until like last because the bathroom was fine, but lockdown happened and we were gonna do a spare room, but we couldn't. So we were like, you know what? Let's do a room that we're actually gonna be using every day. Whereas the spare room, obviously you don't. So we ripped out, this was two separate rooms. So where the bath is now was the toilet and this was a wall. And then here was a door. So we we knocked through all of this, that was fun. And then had a wall built there and obviously opened it all up, but this is what it looks like at the minute. It's not finished, as you can see from the uh, handprints on the ceiling, but it's functioning. I have a bath, we have a shower, we have a toilet. It's getting there, it's getting there slowly. That's because Delilah likes to uh, sit there when I'm in the bath or on the toilet, that's nice. So yeah, I'm really excited for this room to be finished because this bath honestly is one of my favorite places to be in the world. Okie dokie. And then we have the spare room, which is literally the junk room right now because the office is being done. But a really, really nice size room. It's also got a little airing cupboard in it as well. When I can have guests, You'll be staying in here, mate. <laughs> Nothing else really to say. Again, we've had all the floors done up here. One of the first things that we did was change the floor because it was all manky carpet, apart from the landing. The only reason the carpet is still on the landing as well, by the way, is because Delilah gets really funny on this wooden floor. And if we took the carpet off the stairs, she wouldn't come upstairs. And that would be very annoying because we would have to be carrying her up and down the stairs and I'm not doing that. But this is our bedroom, which I'm currently cleaning. So excuse the washing. Also, that's the base of our wardrobe, which will go in there. This was the first room we did. It was finished on Christmas Eve and we were sleeping on a mattress from the 1st of August until 24th of December. But it's finally, it was finished Christmas Eve. This was, this section here was a fitted wardrobe, which we obviously ripped out and made me a little dressing table unit with some um, hanging things. This is meant to just be for dressing gowns, but obviously that's my wardrobe. So hanging things are there. This mirror was from Facebook Marketplace. Again, I cannot scream enough about the fact that you need to use Facebook Marketplace. All of these are from car boot sales and things. The mirror was Facebook Marketplace. And then the other thing that I'm literally obsessed with in here is this wardrobe. So let me take off Ben's socks. <laughs> Let's throw these over there. So this wardrobe is actually an old art cupboard from a school. Um, I don't know how tidy it is inside, but you've got the original little knobs. Hold on. There's a little latch at the top. And then it's just shelving in there, but it's so nice because it's got all the like marks still from the paint and it was a school thing. So I love it. I'm obsessed with this. So cool. And I think it goes really well in the room. I think it fits in really well with the like more modern side here, like, but keeps our antique vintage style with the wardrobe. So yeah, obsessed with that, love that. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at with that. And then the room that's been worked on currently is the office. So it's now had two, it's gonna be so echoey if I go in there, so I'm just gonna stand here. It's now had two coats of paint. Obviously the floor is done, but we are having the radiator painted this color um, because the wardrobe is the gray as well. It's gonna look, Amazing when it's done. This is the light we've got from Ikea to go up there. And a nice big window in here as well. And then a weird like ancovy anco bit. That's not the word I was looking for, but we'll stay with that. This is obviously where the fitted wardrobe was, but yeah, I'm super excited for this room to be finished. And then we can move on to the spare room and be able to have people stay with us. So that would be fun. But 
So that's a super quick walk around of the house. There is a lot of work still to be done, like years worth of work, because obviously the extension is gonna be about another two years down the line. Once the upstairs is done, I feel like I'll be fine, but at the minute I feel like I'm kind of going out of my mind slightly. If you're planning on taking on a renovation, even if you think it's a small renovation, like we did with this, we were like, oh, it's just decorating. Like the only big project really was the bathroom. It's still stressful, so just prepare yourself for that and prepare yourself to live in a dump for as long as it takes for you to get it done. But yeah, I wanted to do a quick walk around. I thought the weekly vlog was a good shout to do it because, well, I've been a bit shit this week, but I am off next week. I'm actually off for the next two weeks because it's my birthday a week today. So hopefully there'll be some fun things to vlog next week. Get to see my family, which I'm very excited for. We were gonna have a barbecue, but I think it's meant to rain all day on my actual birthday and the next day to be honest. So not quite sure what we're gonna do there, but I'm sure we'll make it work. <laughs> I will leave the vlog there, I think. Nothing else really to say this week. I'm just gonna carry on washing, probably wash my own hair because that looks a bit manky. Clearly haven't made much of an effort for the weekly vlogs. Like when I used to do them when I was younger, I was obsessed about looking okay. And now <laughs> maybe it's an age thing, I don't know. Maybe it's the lockdowns. I don't have anyone else since the lockdowns just become a little bit more carefree about how they look and i really don't mind leaving the house without makeup and stuff like that whereas before no chance but i'll leave it there thank you so much for watching if you made it this far um give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already i feel so it feels so old school saying that i feel like people don't really say that anymore but yeah i need to go hang up more washing so that's how exciting my life is now <laughs>